היי גייז I want to show you today a really nice way to create polyphony and subharmonics in VCV rack using just one oscillator. This idea I got after watching a couple of videos from Loop Pop. I will put a link also to these videos um, where he shows a bit about a subharmonicon for Moog or Moog. And also there's another video of his uh, that he shows how to create subharmonics using mats or maths for make noise. This is really nice. And this here is a nice way using a clock divider um, to create polyphony and to create subharmonics using just one oscillator. And all what you are hearing is coming just from this oscillator, from the even VCO. So the even VCO is sending an even, wa even waveform to the clock divider from OMA modules. I have to play with this a bit. And then we have divisions, clock divisions. We have divided by one, which is actually the same frequency, divided by two which is uh, uh, one octave uh, below, divided by three, divided by four, five. And what we get is actually subharmonics. Now what we have to remember, just a second, I have to do this. Now what we have to remember is that uh, even that we sent um, even waveform to the clock because it's a clock divider and a clock is a clock is a clock it means that we will get uh, pulse waves or square waves never mind what we're gonna put inside here what we're gonna connect to the clock input so here I have the scope let's see this sound so here I have the scope from the fundamental modules and down here the pink uh, waveform is the even waveform that comes out from the even VCO and this here is the same frequency but this is the waveform that comes out of the divided by one clock here from the clock divider. So you can see it's a totally different waveform and this is something we have to keep in mind when we are uh, using this technique. But other than that, it sounds nice. And let me show you now what's going on. Let me just change this one more time. Let's listen to this together. Yes. Okay, so let me show you what's going on here. Okay, so here again I have the even VCO from Befaco. Um, I'm using this VCO in this case uh, mostly because of the octave knob here that I can change the octaves really on the fly really quickly. And I have the clock divider from Omer modules. It works with any clock divider. I like this one, so I use this one, but you can use uh, whichever clock divider you want. It will work the same or almost the same closely enough. And I have here already a mono channel connected. And let's take, uh, I took already the even VCO, the even uh, waveform from the even VCO connected once to the clock input of the clock divider and then connected also to our scope. Here down you can see this uh, even VC, the even waveform. This is how it looks like. And this is the same frequency um, divided by one. So it's the same frequency, but just from the output of the clock divider. And this is the waveform we will get. It's pretty interesting and it's a nice sound. Let's listen to this. Let me just take the volume a bit down. So 
So this is the sound we are getting from the even waveform. We can change it also to, let's say, a triangle wave. And this will be the sound we will get. We can send, say, switch it also to sine waves. Let's stay with sine wave for now. Okay, so what we get... What we get is uh, the same frequency, but just a different waveform. But what we can do now, we can add, for example, uh, a sub oscillator for this really easily and really quickly. We don't need another oscillator. All we have to do is take the uh, divided by four, which means two octaves down. So we just connect it to the input. And now we have two octaves down. This is the original, and this is the octaves down. We can take also the octaves down of the v even VCO and listen to this. And it's moving, of course, with the tuning of the even VCO because it's going out of the clock divider. And now what we can also do is we can add also more uh, divisions. So let's take another mono channel. And let's uh, co uh, connect, uh, let's uh, use the divided by three. And let's raise the octaves just. And listen to this. We have a chord out of one oscillator. So again, this is the main pitch and then two octaves down and then one and a half octaves down and we can use also the divided by five then we have another pitch and again it will all move it will all move with the oscillator And this is also I've done it, how I've done it before with the um, grid sequencer from JW modules in the opening. I just connect the pitch information or CV to the voltage per octave of the even VCO and change its pitch. And by that I've changed also the chords, which is really nice. Listen to this. It's not so pleasant like this, let's say, but if I add like before, if I add, for example, just one more module and this will be smoke, which is actually clouds. Let's leave it now in granular mode and connect it together with our mixer. Let's take the input volume a bit down and blend all the way up. Let's turn the volume back. And now let's raise the density a bit. And the size, reverb all the way up, diffusion spread all the way up, or texture actually. We got this from just one oscillator. And again, when I change the, its pitch, It's all moving together, all the notes, all the pitches are moving together. We can also change this to looping delay mode, blend all the way up, reverb all the way up, spread, diffusion, let's take the delay time a bit up. So we have nice delay, listen to this, oh baby. This is really nice. And it's a nice technique to know to use. You can also use it to create really fat bass sounds. Let's try to do this now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's um, delete retardo. 
which is clouds in looping delay mode. And we need just, for this, let's use uh, two channels and let's uh, take out all the divisions. Okay, and let's see, let's connect a um, sawtooth wave once to the clock, once to the scope, and then once through tangents, Lopez filter to the mono channel. Let's connect also the channels to one another and open the volume. And let's lower also the frequency. Very nice. And let's use, actually, let's use Freak, which is the new filter from Vult. I will use this because I have two inputs here and two outputs. So let's do this. And uh, this is the right. And let's connect. Uh, the Lopez here, you can delete tangents, okay, and then Freak, let's change it to tangents here, Lopez, close the cutoff a bit, open the resonance, okay, and now what we can do, we can add a division of the bass, let's say divided by two, so one octave lower, which is really nice. We can connect it also to the second channel. And listen to this fat bass. So this is the original, and this is one octave lower. We can also add, uh, instead of one octave lower, we can add two octaves lower, which is really if low. So you can use this technique also to add um, sub-octaves to the sound, create really big fat, uh, fat basses. You can also create lead sounds or melodies and add a division of this melody to create another, um, another voice, let's say, to accompany this melody. All you have to keep in mind is that the wave form will change from the clock divider. But other than this, it's really nice. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and have a good one.